that is something that I don't take for thanks to my mom. I don't take for granted. I never have the impact that I can make on individuals. And to me, making a real impact on an individual, way more powerful than having a thousand casual fans. I'm going to share a story with you. This just happened yesterday. <laughs> this shit is crazy, dude. But it, if not for the fact that I had so many things going on and I had like six meetings after this, it would have just like had me on cloud nine for the whole day. So my very first meeting of the day yesterday, I'm meeting with, with, a, with a, a woman who owns a, a contacts in her business here in Atlanta. And I don't know, she's, she's contacted through the website and she's like, yeah, we want to thinking about expanding, blah, blah, blah. I want to talk to you. Cool. Here's my link, uh, book a meeting. So we get on and she pops on and her son pops on as well. Her son is 34 years old. And he says, well, um, you know, my mom wants to take credit for this connection, but she can't take credit for this connection because I'm taking credit. Here's why. I worked for you 10 years ago. 10 years ago, I worked for you for like 10 days. <laughs> 10 days, that's it. Like so much so that I really, I, he didn't resonate. I, I had hundreds of employees, right? And he said, the impact that you made on me in that 10 days, like mm. how professional your organization was, how people, how, how many black and brown and, my, and, and, and gender minorities you had and how professional you were, your organization was, was run made this massive impact on me. And so here, here we are 10 years later and um, they want to bring me in to help consult them on their business, right? Which is cool. Uh, but just the thought that I made that impact and this dude who didn't, he wasn't even a long-term employee. He worked for us 10 days. You know, he's a good, smart guy. He's a real straight broker and everything now, but he was just like, you know, on time, it just, it wasn't, that job wasn't a good fit for me. Yeah, okay, no problem. But that's the type of impact. That's what I'm talking about, dude. So when you talk about legacy, that's what it's about to me. That's why I don't, I don't, when I see these, I see our, I won't call them peers. I don't think they're peers. When I see people on these, on the platforms that are just chasing the, chasing the attention, chasing the, the likes and the comments and, and all that stuff. Like, I don't think they really get it. And I, and, and I, I guess I just, I was someone way before social media, like social media didn't create Ron L, right? For one, so it doesn't define me, but I'm also, uh, and tell me if you share this, I'm sure you do, cause you're a smart dude. I'm also not egotistical enough to think that I matter that much, dude, like on platforms like that. But these sorts of impacts that we make in real life, these sort of connections like you and I, this is what endures. And that is what it's about for me. And that is also how we do business. That's how we do business. I have terrible news for you. You, 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 you actually might matter more than you suspect. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, I'll tell you what, I will never believe the press, man. You know what get over the love affair that you have with what you're what you've done get over the love affair with the with the the, 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 the stuff you've made get over yeah. the love affair you have with yourself those kind of stuff and what you need to replace that with is what i call passionate impartiality right <laughs> Dude, you are, what are you, just the wisdom bomb dropper today? What the hell? <laughs> you got me stopping and pausing and like, what the? Passionate impartiality. Wow. Okay. Keep saying. But you know, you know what I'm it's like, it's like, you got to be like, I mean, the, the passion is like all in, but impartiality. It's like, you know what? If, it's, it's, it's everything you've talked about. It is caring about the values and not about the vanity. You know, it's caring about the right things and not, not falling for the little red herrings. Um, it's looking at, it's caring about the long game and not like a little short return. It's, you know, it's just the right components. 